Coloring All Stars, it's Miss Kim. I wanted to say hello and see how you were doing today. And I also wanted to read a book to you. And the book that I picked out is called Thelma the Unicorn by Aaron Blady. I believe he's also the illustrator. Thelma felt a little sad. In fact, she felt forlorn, which is another word for sad or unhappy. Uh, you see, she wished with all her heart to be a unicorn. There's Thelma. She's looking up at all the clouds. And this one looks like a unicorn. Her best friend's name was Otis. He liked her quite a lot. He said, you're perfect as you are. But Thelma said, I am not. There's Otis. And that was when she saw it, a carrot on the ground. It gave her such a great idea. She squealed and jumped around. She took that simple carrot and she tied it to her nose. I'll say that I'm a unicorn. It might just work. Who knows? carrot she saw. She tied it to her nose. Do you think she looks like a unicorn? She kind of does. Well, as she did, a truck drove by. The driver rubbed his eyes. Good grief, is that a unicorn? He shrieked in great surprise. As Thelma watched the swerving truck, it very nearly hit her. Would you believe that truck was filled with nice pink paint and glitter? Oh, Thelma looked amazing. She was a unicorn. I'm special now, she cried out loud, and so a star was born. All across the whole wide world, her fans would cheer her name. Thelma loved it every bit. The fame, the fame, the fame. Thelma was a superstar. Her dreams had all come true, but soon she found that so much fame was kind of tricky, too. You see, her fans were mad for her. They'd scream and cry and laugh. They'd chase her everywhere she went to get her autograph. In fact, they chased her all day long. It never, ever stopped. They chased her while she exercised. They chased her while she shopped. Please don't chase me anymore, she asked the screaming crowd. We'll chase you all we want, they said. We're fans, so it's allowed. And some were not her fans at all. No, some were really mean. And some just did the meanest things she'd really ever seen. They made her fall down while she was skating. Some people just don't like unicorns. So one dark night, she felt quite sad. This famous little pony, she said, I thought that I'd feel great, but all I feel is lonely. looking at her best friend's picture. Remember Otis? And so with that, she changed her mind. This lonely unicorn, she cleaned off all her sparkles and she ditched her magic horn. She took a bath and washed everything off. And then she walked right past the crowd. They didn't even notice. She thought how nice it would be. There she is. Nobody noticed. So she thought how nice it would be to see her lovely Otis. There's her best friend. He's so happy to see her. And when he asked about her trip, 
beneath their favorite tree. She simply said, oh, it was fun, but I'd rather be just me. Everyone is special in their own way, so just be yourself. Okay, take care, and we'll see you soon. Bye.